Okay, Kipsters, so today we're going to be talking about what we need to do when ordering decimals. Uh, when ordering decimals, you must first line up the decimal points. Sorry for the ugly handwriting. And then you're going to label the greatest number with a 4 and the smallest number with a 1. Now that's not always the case, but in this example at least you'll see that since there are four uh, numbers, one, two, three, four, uh, we'll be labeling them from least to greatest, one being the smallest and four being the largest. And the way we need to do that is by lining up the decimal points. Now one thing you'll notice right away is that one of the numbers actually doesn't have a decimal point, and that's the two. But as we've talked about, any number in the world has an invisible decimal point right after it. That two is in the ones place. So if you think about it like money, you can also think about it as if it's two dollars. Okay? So, once we have that in place, we're now ready to uh, put our decimals in order from least to greatest. Let's put uh, our first number down, uh, which is 1.41. One. Okay? Next up, you see we have 1.562. So very important, let's put the decimal point down first because <clears throat> we need to line them up. And now we have 1.562. Looks a little weird, but uh, we have our ones right here. They're lined up in the ones place. The four and the five are both in the tenthest place. The one and the six are both in the hundredthest place. And then we have the two, and then we can put a smiley face in the empty space here. Sorry, that's an ugly smiley face. Uh, so that's the way it looks and we keep doing that with the other uh, numbers that we have left. We have 0 .141, so again we put the decimal point down first, 0 .141, and then here we'll put our smiley face again, and that smiley face has one eye. Oh, now he has two. And then finally we have our two which we recognize was like 2.00 or uh, so here's our decimal point 2.00 then we can add another one here just to make everything look uh, even then once we have that uh, our decimals are lined up and now we can order our numbers from uh, least to greatest or greatest to least by starting from the left to the right we have 1102 different which one's different? Well, a lot of them, but let's start with the two. Is the two larger or smaller than the rest? It's larger, so we're going to label that with the number four, meaning that this is our largest number. We'll put a dash right through it, and then we'll go back and start comparing again. One, one, zero, different. Which one's different? The zero. In this case, uh, is it smaller or larger? The zero is smaller, so we'll put a circle here and that means that this is the smallest of all the numbers that we have finally one one same four five different which one is larger uh, the fives larger so we're gonna put our circle here now we don't give it a four because it's not the largest that's the two uh, but we will give it a three since that must mean it's the second largest which means that this one is the second uh, uh, the second smallest. And finally, in order to fully answer the question, it says to put the decimals in order from least to greatest. So the smallest one is point one four one. Then after that, uh, I like to use the numbers in the original one. So after that, it's one point four one zero, but the original one says one point four one. So we're going to put 1.41. Then, so the first one's done, the second one's done. Now the third, we have 1.562, no changes there, 1.562. And then finally, 2.000, but in the original it just says 2, so we're going to write down 2. And that's how you put decimals in order from least to greatest or greatest to least.